In the depths of Bihar, India lurked an innocent face masking a monstrous soul. At the tender age of eight, Amorjit Sada became the world's youngest serial killer. Born into a life of hardship in 1998, this young boy was the progeny of a day laborer, struggling to keep his family afloat in the impoverished village of Musahari. Education was a pipe dream and companionship, a luxury too costly for Amorjit, who spent his days in solitude, wandering the area and plucking fruits. His quiet demeanor masked a chilling truth. Behind those innocent eyes and silent nature, a tempest of darkness was brewing unbeknownst to the world. The villagers saw a lonely child, withdrawn and quiet. Yet, beneath the surface, a sinister force was taking shape. In 2006, a relative's child was left under the care of Amojit's family. This would prove to be a fatal mistake. The day was like any other. Amojit's mother had gone to the market, leaving him in charge of his younger sister and the relative's child. But this day would take a chilling turn. With no one to stop him, Amorjit began to beat the innocent child. Even as the child cried out in agony, Amorjit didn't stop. In a shocking turn of events, he strangled the child, ending its life. Despite the horror of what he had done, Amorjit showed no remorse. In a chilling display of nonchalance, he buried the child's body outside their home. When his mother returned and questioned the child's whereabouts, Amorjit confessed without hesitation. But instead of informing the authorities, his mother chose to fabricate a tale to cover up the crime. This was just the beginning of a horrifying journey that would claim more innocent lives. The beast within Amorjit was not sated. His own sister and another neighborhood child would soon fall prey. The night was silent, the household asleep, as Amorjit took the life of his eight-month-old sister. His parents, once again, fabricated a story to shield their son from the consequences. Yet Amojit's thirst for violence remained unquenched. His third victim was Kushpu, a six-month-old baby girl from the neighborhood. The innocence of her age did not deter him. He suffocated her, smashed her head with a brick, and left her lifeless body behind. This time, however, there was no story to cover up the heinous act. Kushpu's mother, Chun Chun Devi reported the crime, leading to an investigation. Amojit, do you know why you're here? They asked during the interrogation. His response? A chilling giggle. His confession would come, but only in exchange for biscuits. The chilling laughter during his interrogation echoed the twisted pleasure he derived from his gruesome acts. In the face of his confessions, the law could not touch this juvenile murderer. His mental disorder shielded him from the justice his victims deserved. Amojit was brought before the court, but due to his tender age, he couldn't be held in judicial custody. He was sent to a juvenile remand home, a decision that sparked outrage. But what's more chilling was the psychiatric evaluation. It was revealed that Amojit derived pleasure from attacking or killing others. He showed no remorse, no guilt, a child who should have been playing with toys was instead playing with lives. His understanding of right and wrong was blurred. A grim testament to a mind marred by a mental disorder. The world's youngest serial killer eventually faded into the shadows. His current whereabouts? Unknown.